Hi guys, welcome to my very quick review of the uh, Hummingbird Helix 5 Chirp GPS G2 model uh, fish finder and GPS. Um, ordered this a couple of days ago and for my personal boat and I've got to be honest with you, I am going to be taking it back because I'm not very impressed with it. Um, when you buy a Hummingbird, they look really good on the packaging. You know, the simulation looks good for all the charts and stuff. However, be warned, the GPS for the UK charts, there's nothing on there whatsoever for the UK charts. And I'll demonstrate this to you. So in the box, you get your recycled box that comes with it. You get your transducer, which I haven't used. It's just I haven't connected it yet because I want to check the GPS system first. Um, you get... Transducer mounting kit, so I, I run a sieve, I run a home wave, which is quite difficult for me because I have uh, the uh, extra flotation tabs at the back, which is a little bit awkward, so I've had to purchase one of these, which is £30, clamps onto the transom and hangs over the tabs with your, your, your transducer. Uh, that's a good bit of kit. So, first thing I want to explain, so you've got your, your mounts there, all unopened, because I will be taking this model back. Um, so I'm not very happy with it. So you get a list of instructions, your warranty and stuff there. It's a good, what's well, a three year warranty? Not bad. Um, completely waterproof unit. So let's go ahead, let's fire up and I'll show you what I mean by uh, the maps themselves. So press once, the hummingbird will then power up. Now, I thought the base map for the UK would have had some detail, I mean, I thought, you know, as a base map I've seen before on some marine GPS systems, they at least have large ports or main ports. The, the nearest port near me would be the Port of Tyne, Newcastle Port of Tyne, which is a massive port. And, you know, there's not one single boy marker on here to tell you the entrance to the port whatsoever. So, <clears throat> when you've got it in demo mode, the... Uh, you can see there, that's the, uh, this is only the transducer model, it's not the down imaging model. Now, I am going to swap this one for an SI model, which is a sign imaging, um, for an extra £100, I think, that and also that would include a Navionics Plus package on there, which you need, uh, with a Hummingbird, you definitely, definitely, definitely need an extra display package for the map system because uh, the mapping system is, is poor so we'll, we'll skip along we've got the view button there we'll skip along so you've got your depth you've got your temperature and your speed of over, over water over ground um, different viewpoints of your transducer height and this is your GPS now if you look at the detail here this is what's on the packaging and you would think that the base map for the UK would look like this and it does not look anything like this. So if I zoom in here into the channel markers, you've got your, you know, you've got your channel markers there. You've got your depths on there as well. If I zoom in again, you've got your active, active track live contours at the bottom, which is is great stuff, you know. And you can change the layout of the map on this, so we can go from auto chart to we can use UniMap, which seems to be the more in depth kind of map regarding the coastline again it seems to be only major ports in America that's covered for the hummingbird so what I'll do now is I'll turn that off that's your demo mode so let's turn this off and we shall now reboot this okay so we're going to reboot this now I've adjusted my position of the camera so we can see it a little bit more and basically you'll see where you know it, it's a good system this is it has the potential to be a fantastic system however for the price you pay for the UK I mean this cost me 340 pounds it's not a lot of money but it's a lot of money for a fish finder and that's all it is even though it states on there it's a GPS it's a fish finder there's there's no GPS software on there whatsoever you know, it's yes, it might be okay to give your your grid reference, your Latin long, 
but you cannot and you know you cannot navigate using this system it would be dangerous there's no contours there's no depth lines you know there's there's no sharp sharp rocky areas for the uk it is literally like a tom tom without the roads on <laughs> that's exactly what it's like and i'll show that to you now <clears throat> so this is the chart where i am here newcastle on tyne and i can tell you that the river tyne which is chartered on navionics starts there zoom in 100 feet 50 feet there's nothing there okay let's zoom out right so there's newcastle upon tyne this is quite a major port when you look at major ports around the uk newcastle upon tyne it's, it's a big port you know this there's, there's some he very heavy traffic there and a lot of voyage so let's zoom in let's see if we can get some voyage on there oh this is your base map here this is what i was saying about it's poor you know you've got your entrance to the, to the port which is here you t the port of tyne actually starts about there so that 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 to me is poor for the price you pay for this unit and you don't even the base map doesn't even cover the uk now me personally they should say on on the packaging it should say base map does not cover the uk I've been online, I spoke to Hummingbird themselves, and they stated to me that they only cover the US for mapping. So they only do the full the full US is mapped, but UK is not, or European is not. Uh, they told me to buy a Navionics package for it. Now, the Navionics package for this, for the UK, would be about £180 just for the SD card. So where do we go from here? You know, you can get similar units like the Garmin which a Garmin will cost you about £400, but will include their own mapping system for the UK, and their base map does include the um, the chart the chart plotter when, when, and the contours and the, the voyage. Um, if you wanted to step up, <clears throat> I'm going to be stepping up from this, and I'll just show you this as well. So there's two different types of maps on here. This is the, the base map and... So we'll go to the hum this is the that was the base source of the map we've got a, a, a map called unimap i don't know what it is um, there's not much that tells you but you can see there so the base map for um hummingbird stops here and the actual port of tyne is here this is where all the ships come in that's where the markers this this is actually buoyed channel marker all the way up to the time bridge which is there so it, it is an official Boyd channel and I don't understand why at all the base map doesn't include anything any contours any depth contours it just comes with absolutely nothing so that that's my review of the map is absolutely it, it's pants there's nothing there you can't navigate off that there's no point having it in that there's just there's no point it's it's pointless Um. so as a fish finder yeah I think the fish finder side of it is fantastic. Uh, the sonar is good. It's not connected, so it won't show up there. But for the for the price of it, I mean, it's it's a good solid unit. You know, L looking at it, it's lightweight. It's easily connected, um, fully waterproof. So you would just put that in. With me, mine mine will be mounted to the the seat on my sieve. Um, the only thing I would say about this is it doesn't swivel. You can't swivel it. It's on a mount. The basic mount is a fixed mount, up and down, so you can't you can't move it up, which is a bit disappointing. With the Garmin one, you can swivel. Uh, with Lawrence ones, you can also you can also swivel. A lot um, more in depth uh, than the Hummingbird. Um, so basically, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade this model to the Hummingbird Helix Five. Uh, five being the uh, inches of the screen. So this is a five-inch screen. It's not very big. However, you know, it's it's enough for me on my inflatable boat. Um, I like the fact that you can just unplug it. And it, it can pack that away in a bag, you know, and it's fully waterproof. Nothing to worry about there. The design of it is fantastic. It's lightweight. The screen is HD clear. And um, the only thing, yeah, the only thing that's wrong with it is the GPS system on this model. However, in about six days' time, I'm going to be upgrading this to the Helix 5 G2 
um, the SI model, which has got the side imaging and also has the Navionics package on board. Um, when I bought this one, I was under the impression that there was a lot more GPS capabilities on board with this, um, according to the advert online from where I bought it from. So I'm a little bit disappointed in that. However, I'm going to have to spend about another £100 um, to upgrade this to a Navionics package, which is what you need for the UK. Um, so when I get that when I get that order through, I shall do another review and hopefully a bit more positive review on this uh, on this model. Um, I'm also going to be going through the steps I need to take to put this on my home wave. Um, there is no videos on YouTube or anything on the internet at the moment with a home wave air deck with the trim tabs at the back. Um, normally you would put a transducer onto the uh, the transom of a of a sib. Uh, but unfortunately the new home waves you cannot do that because where the transom is there is some trim tabs that come out and probably to about 30 centimeters or so so the other mounting options i have in place are quite interesting but hopefully they'll work and i shall upload some videos on there on what to do because there's nothing out there so i'm kind of leading the blind here and hopefully you know, it's like blind leading the blind and hopefully we'll get there um, without any instruction from anyone else and come up with my own plan and pass that knowledge on. So thanks for watching, guys, and I shall be in touch in the next week or so with hopefully the same hummingbird. If not, I'll have a different model of a fish finder. Um, I'm going to the store next week up Scotland, so I'm going to have a look around, see what I can buy and see what I can get for my money. And basically, yeah... And it's something with navigation. So, great. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe. And we'll see you next time for another review. Thank you.